Sales of real estate in the metaverse topped over $500 million last year and could double this year. How does the real estate market in the metaverse affect real world real estate? In today's video, we're going to talk about the metaverse and how it's going to change real estate forever. So just to start off with, what is a metaverse? A metaverse is essentially a 3D virtual world used to make social connections. You all remember the video game Sims? Essentially, it's the video game Sims in real life, but it's done in the metaverse and there are multiple metaverses. So for example, the top two metaverses are Decentraland and Sandbox. In those two metaverses, real estate investors who are usually used to buying real world property are now going into the metaverses in order to buy properties, in order to just rent them out, flip them, lease them out, and just hold for the long term. One thing I wanna talk about with the metaverse is the metaverse mortgage. According to a Business Insider article I read, it stated that Terra Zero Technology has facilitated one of the first ever metaverse mortgage. And this specific client actually bought land on the Ethereum-based platform Decentraland. They also stated that moving forward, prospective clients can use the Terra Zero website to explore metaverse land listing, then finalize the brokerage process with the company. Terra Zero holds the virtual land as the registered owner until the loan is paid back. Each transaction is collateralized by the underlying virtual real estate which is represented as an nft and also these loans are only two years so you're not getting your 30 year long mortgages with buying mortgages from the metaverse later in this video i'm going to go deeper into how i see the metaverse investing like flipping wholesaling buying holds and other things like that so stay tuned for that so with this new mortgage that just recently came out that someone used in order to buy land i was reading that this client is actually using this plot of land to develop a video game so we know that in the crypto landscape of things video virtual games are exploding right and people are making tons of money especially the game creators and so just getting a two-year loan that developer will probably pay back that loan within a year if they're able to produce a somewhat successful um, virtual game and receive residual income every single month for that game so that's one way people are making it big in the virtual world is that, hey, I have a game, I need to create some land or buy some land in order to create this game upon. And then people in the metaverse, they can go visit this house or this building in order to play this game and the owner can make income from it. So just talking about that, it shows that a lot of actually younger people are able to get into the real estate game in some way, right? So for ages, lenders just only look at your credit worthiness, you know, how much loan have you held in the past, how much money you make, what's your net worth, and other things like that. And these mortgages in the metaverse, they do to a certain degree look at that, but they don't really look at, oh no, this person needs this much many years of credit history or, or different things like that. So a younger person is more able to buy land in the metaverse than they were to buy land in the real world. And I think that's great for a lot of young investors. Like a lot of beginner investors usually get started with wholesaling. And on this channel, I do talk extensively about wholesaling you can check out my channel i have a ton of videos on them but another way you can get into real estate is by buying real estate using these mortgages in order to buy real estate in the central land and sandbox and pay like fifteen thousand forty five thousand dollars for a plot of land that you can get a mortgage on quickly pay that off and then use that money in order to buy real world assets and with that with more and more people buying you usually have more interest coming up right you have higher appreciation so that young person that bought a plot of land in the Citroen land for $15,000 because it's been increasing year by year, people are expecting properties in these different metaverses to increase over 30% every single year of appreciation. And the usual appreciation for real world properties is between seven and 10% every single year. So you can imagine this is the perfect time for young people to get started into real estate. And once they establish some sort of portfolio in the metaverse,
metaverse, they can use that money to invest in real world properties or even buy their first home where they can have a place for their family, for their children in order to enjoy life. So that is definitely a positive to the metaverse and its impact in the real estate investing game and just the real estate landscape as a whole. All right, so now let's talk a little bit more specifically about real world real estate investing, right? All right, so we just talked about how you can use mortgages to buy properties in the metaverse, but how can you use the metaverse in order to buy real world properties, right? Because we eventually want to use this information in order to buy some properties, get some cash flow, not only in the virtual world, but in the real world. More and more companies, tech startups are coming up with different softwares and platforms, making it extremely easy for crypto investors to use their crypto, their NFTs, their metaverse land or properties as collateral for real world mortgages. Essentially counting those crypto assets as their net worth, as income in order to qualify for a physical property loan. One company doing something to that extent is called Milo. Now Milo essentially use your cryptocurrency as collateral to them giving you cash to buy a house. So this is how it works. So let's say you want to buy a house for $100,000 and you have $100,000 worth of Bitcoin. Traditionally, you would have to sell that crypto, that Bitcoin in order to put a down payment on a property. But with Milo, instead of selling that Bitcoin directly to a traditional lender, like selling it, like cashing it out, now you don't have any more Bitcoin, you just have the $100,000 cash, what Milo offers is that you send them that Bitcoin so you can retain the appreciation of that Bitcoin. And then by you giving them that Bitcoin, they will give you cash for that property. So for example, let's say there's a hundred thousand dollar house and you have Bitcoins worth up to a hundred thousand dollars, right? All you have to do is send Bitcoin over to Milo and Milo will give you a check for a hundred thousand dollars to buy that property. So every month you will have a mortgage payment on a 30 year crypto back mortgage with Milo. And essentially what makes this great is that once you pay off that $100,000 loan, Milo gives you back your Bitcoin that you once sent them. Of course, they're making some money off of the interest payments that you're paying them like every month with their loan, with their mortgage. But essentially you get all of your Bitcoins back. So if you sent them like 50 Bitcoins, they'll send you 50 Bitcoins back, right? Because you already paid them off of the interest of the mortgage. And so with that, let's say it's 15 years down the road and Bitcoin has exploded 10X. Well, you still get to retain that 10X appreciation with Bitcoin and they send you back that Bitcoin and you can cash out the rest of the loan using your Bitcoins or just using extra cash that you have. And so you get to keep your crypto assets using this platform. And this is definitely revolutionary because a lot of times you would have have to once again just sell your cryptocurrency and get the cash in order to put a down payment on a home. But now they're just using your crypto assets as collateral in order for you to buy a home. I hope that makes sense. You know, I'm using collateral, leveraging, hopefully all those terms make sense to you all. Now, how do I see this shaping up with real estate investing? Well, I see more and more investors getting into the crypto field. Even if you watch YouTube, like with all these real estate investor influencers, they are every now and then talking about crypto, NFTs, the metaverse, real estate in the metaverse. And so more and more investors are investing in the crypto landscape. And with that, they're going to leverage their crypto in order to invest in real world properties, to buy fix and flips, to buy primary residencies for them and their family, and to buy rental properties that they can hold long-term. Another thing with that is that big real estate corporations are like buying commercial buildings in the metaverses. They're also like creating REITs like retirement investment accounts based off of cryptocurrency metaverses real estate. Like traditionally REITs, R-E-I-T's, which is essentially just real estate investment 
fun. It's just like a retirement fund based off of real estate assets. For example, you have like the S&P 500 that is based off of the top 500 companies in America, or you have other mutual funds that are based off of certain sectors in America. And so you have funds that are based off of the real estate market in America. But now companies are coming out with investment funds that are based off of real estate in the virtual world that people can invest in long-term as their retirement plan. And this may even affect categories as small as wholesaling in real estate. This can affect wholesaling in a way that the transactions being done may all be done on the blockchain. I actually made a video about that. I'll put that somewhere, NFTs in real estate. So make sure you check that out. Also with wholesaling, people may be able to wholesale in the metaverse. You never know, like get a property under contract in the metaverse and then sell that contract over to someone else, which essentially you are just buying contracts whenever you're investing in crypto like smart contracts and different things like that but it's crazy how it will turn out in the metaverse i hope you all enjoyed this video about me talking about the metaverse and the different mortgages they offer not only in the virtual world but in the real physical world and its impact on real estate and how it will change the landscape of real estate forever all right you all hope you all enjoyed this video be sure to like subscribe comment down below and i'll talk to you all later peace